in the yard. Gonna work on the van. You guys made me feel bad when you said, oh, I wanna come along with the van repairs. So I'll catch up to speed in a bit. We're gonna replace the transmission line on the van. Check out these forks I got for the uh, Kubota, these extenders, eight footers. Pretty strong too. I needed them for that construction fence I bought down there. All right. Here's our new transmission line. Catch up the speed, what I've done to this. I replaced uh, some rear springs. I don't know if you can see them. Leaf springs on this side. Uh, replaced those. There was two broken ones. They were cracked. I noticed it when I was greasing everything. Got that replaced. Two new shocks in the front. And a power steering line. Power steering line right here. That was replaced. That had a leak in it. As you see all over the frame rail. Things happen over the winter, you know? Rot a little more with the salt. And then, uh, they go. So you gotta replace them as you go. Okay, so this line goes through here somewhere on the frame and connects I imagine right there one of these it's one of these two either this one or this one I gotta trace it um but where it goes into the tranny we get you under here you see that line there's two lines right there the one in the uh the there's one in the back and one in the front one's a feed one's a return the one that's broke or spliced is the one with the clamps on it, which is a feed line, high pressure. And you can see where he spliced it, uh, somewhere right there. And then he went back into the hard pipe. Now he told me there was some issues with the lines and I asked him, um, I said, well, can you fix it? And he goes, yeah, probably. So I just assumed he fixed it. I didn't think he just spliced it. See how these got crimped for high pressure he just basically put a uh a clamp on it and it was literally hand tight so when it built pressure it slipped off now this had slipped off last year it slipped off and my van actually caught on fire because there was fluid spraying all up in here and it went down on the exhaust and caught this truck on fire on the road i pulled over and it was just engulfed and i um had lucky I got two fire extinguishers in here. I sprayed it out real quick. I was like, oh my God. And I had to keep firing up to see where the leak was. I didn't even know. And then I could finally see the line was off. So then I fixed it. And I just slipped because it was fixed. I, I, I put more fluid in it. Drove it home. Should have ordered this line. I didn't. I just tightened those clamps down. And it, they just it lasted about six months. And then going to work the other day it blew off luckily i was coming to a red light and saw all the smoke come in front of me and there was a parking ride right there and i pulled in and put three or two clamps on it now this time and uh two in the front and one in the back and then um it seemed to hold to get me to the job and back and i still had to put a gallon of uh dextron in it all right under the truck i traced the line from the back it's this bottom one of the two Goes here, goes up in. Now I know this, that's the piece. This cap's got a, I think this is just a cap on here and then there's a reten retention spring in there or a clip. All right, I got her cleaned up with some spray cleaner and you can see that little silver clip now. Uh, this is just my seal puller that I use. Works good for this kind of stuff. Work your way right around to it, don't lose it. You will need it back on. Special little clip right there. We're gonna hang that right here on this transmission line below it so we know it's there. Got my catch pan ready. Try to twist this first. Oh, she's in there. that I knew she'd be uh 
rusty. Oh my baby. Might have to tap it down with something. Oh. All right. Tight fit in here with you guys in here. Come on, baby. Oh boy. I see things are gonna be breaking soon. Give it one big whack. I just got a little fluid coming out now. There we go. There we go. I've seen the fluid working out. I worked, uh, I went with the, uh, the little tool I was using, the seal tool, worked my way around that. I was working my way around here because it was rust in there. I kept circling around it. All right, back up on top. We got these, it's just held in by clips. I already took this clip off. Right here. See on that, where my thumb is? There's a clip there. There's one here too. So it's that bottom line. It's kind of a funky clip. It's going to be a lot easier to put in than take out. Let's get in behind it with a screwdriver. And then you pop them out. There. That one's out. So that's out. The middle one's out. I believe. It's loose all the way. Um, do do do. Yep, that back one. Of course, there's probably one here in the middle. Don't you guys go down in there and take a peek. Yep, right here. One right behind a. Of course. Of course, it's right behind the uh, heat shield. All right. All right, under the truck, that one on the heat shield just come out easy. You just hold your hands on both sides of the shield and push out and pop, she pops out. Of course, I always say I'm not going to get greasy or dirty. It's a simple fix. I'm already greasy and dirty. No such thing. I have work clothes for this stuff, and I don't ever put them on. So this is the one we're after right here. There's two lines. That line in the back of the transmission is the return line. That one with the clamp on it is the feed. That is the one we're after. Let me get you over there. Get you out of the way. Might be a little fluid coming out of this. Yeah. Cut my rag here. Touch all this. Even though it's going on a steel plate, I still don't want it. I'm laying on it anymore than I have to. All right. There's my line, and there's my road fix. It held though, I was just pulling on that. That held pretty good, but can't take that chance of this truck burning up. You can see all the fluid here. Ugh, frustration. To be continued. I believe they ordered me the wrong line. Yeah. Got the lines. I don't even know where I left off. It's been like days, <laughs> so. We'll just do a recap as we go. Gonna put these, take those old lines out and get these new lines in, nice and pretty. That's the front with those two 90s. That's the rear. There's the old one, I took that out of the tranny. That was the stub. Um, and then it's got the little clip on here, like so. Same clip that we took the, on the front. That was on the old line, that's why I unscrewed that out of the tranny, but um, needless to say, let's get it back installed. Alrighty, just under here, 16 mil on this, I started getting it loose. That was a nightmare to get out of this bottom of this radiator. I got this loose. Oh, boy. Let that drain in my pan, like so. Let those lines drain a little bit, then we can just spin this line right out. 
because that nut was frozen we wouldn't have been able to spin it would just kept getting tight here and could mess up the threads in there you know those threads huh, they get sketchy especially like the aluminum radiators with the steel fittings you'll pull the aluminum threads right out then you're in deep doo-doo so we'll pull this out good thing it's coming out nice hand tight it was stubborn to get uh to that point threads look good nothing no damage so good to go on that end all right transmission just putting a threaded piece back in i put a little teflon on her tighten this down all right here's the other line just got to find out which way the clip goes get under it there it is it's oh where where to go so I've been messing with this clip for like, no lie, half hour. Comes to find out the clip, I already, I went up there with the wrench, I didn't have a light. I saw the clip and then I said, I thought it went back in, but it didn't. I've been messing with it for an hour, finally pulled on the line, it come out, I was like, whoa! And the clip was sitting right here on the tranny. Man, that was frustrating. Here's the clip. They're the clips, that's what they look like. So when I went in with the, seal puller I, I went around that little lip there popped it out i must have not have saw it fall out i thought it just snapped back in and i was messing around with it for like i said a half hour so my lines are out i mean you could pull all this stuff if you want to do but i think i could snake those lines out we'll get those lines they're all disconnected if i gotta cut them loose i will all right old lines are out here's the splice that the guy put in All right, I'm feeding these through. I went down through here, and I'm working my way back. Just pulling this ever so nicely. And then they got to go in those clips. And All right, I'm up to there. Just got to find out if that's the upper or the lower. So this is all I did was just sneak it down in this hole here and work it right under the truck completely, like so. All the way until you get enough to get through here and under all this apparatus. And again, two bolts, a couple clamps takes that off, but I was able to do it with it in. All right, I got all the lines in the clips. All right, back under the tranny, I just blew those lines out with my mouth from the other end. Just in case I got a little debris in there. Just gonna push these in. You'll feel it. There's the. You'll feel it go in. There, snaps right in. Make sure you get it in. You gotta bend this way. That's gotta go. And then here's the clip. Make sure that clip's on. Oh, I just dropped it. Make sure that clip is on. Otherwise, you will have a blowout. All right, I'm gonna get both these lines on. Where'd that clip go? Here we go. It's real tight under this truck. Got the exhaust right in the way. Trying to roll around on half rocks, half road plate. Here goes the clip. And you'll know when it's in. It will seat itself and then rub your fingers around it. Make sure it's in. It should spin until it clips. I think that's it. I'm gonna give a tug back and forth, and this will be loose like that, but it's catching the clip. So, supposedly, it's not gonna leak. Man, it's hard getting you guys in here with me. These camera angles and holding the camera up. So, there's this line. You'll hear it snap in. Right there. Let's get the clip on her. Come on. Oh, tight, tight, tight. There's the clip. Right here. Snap this in. If I can. Doesn't look like it wants to reach. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to push that. Let me see. Uh, I think we're going to leave that out for some reason. I bent this bra bracket already once. 
Oh, let's see if we can get get that there. Yeah. Now let's put this in there. Bend the bracket back to it. Oh, come on, baby. Whoa. Yeah, there we are. There we are. Nice and tight. Gotta put a little. Gotta put a little love into it. Back under the front. Got Teflon tape on that. Give her one layer. Snuggy duggy. There she is. Got this line with the quick connect. Use your old cap there. Go on up in. Make sure she's clean. Go here, snap. There she goes. And this, the little clip, which I have over here on that tube. Let's see here. Get you a better shot because you couldn't see that in, down on the tranny side, but clip this goes on like so, and once it snaps, ugh. come on, don't make me liar out of me. Ah! <laughs> Again. There she goes. Snap on in. There it is. You heard it. You heard it. Make sure you give it an old wiggle test and put the cap back on. That keeps it from rusting. Yeah, right. All right, she's all put back together. Let's fire it up, give it a test, uh, t look for leaks. And then uh, on to the next project. Looking good there. Looking good on that side. Go underneath real quick. There's the transmission side. No leaks. No leaks. We'll check the tranny fluid. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed two tranny lines on the GCM W4500. If you guys want to see me repair the front hub, left hub on that ram right there, I got to replace that this afternoon. Got to go get the parts, put it down into the comments, and I'll make a video of it. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a good one. Oh, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not.